men actually underperform in their investment. And actually, women also underperform, but in a different manner. Women, they underperform because um, they are actually better. When it comes to investment, when it comes to money, they're actually better than they think they are. But for men, they, 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 they are actually uh, uh, worse, not better, right? Men are actually worse than they think they are. And despite that, me being a man myself, right? And that's what I realized over a course of, you know, a long time of years advising, you know, seeing a lot of clients, you know, from both uh, couples, men and women alike. And how I want to explain this is uh, using a few examples. Now, if you think that this does not make sense, stay with me because at the end of this video, this is what's going to happen. If you are a woman, a lady, a girl, right, this is going to increase the odds of you performing better in your investment provided that you take action right take the first step now if you are a man and uh, you think you are doing your all over the place you're doing everything you can when it comes to investment but yet it still didn't get the result you want one point is not to do more but actually to do less and that could actually improve your investment result so regardless in other words regardless you are a man uh, you know or a woman uh, by watching this video by watching this lesson you are going to improve your investment result by huge margin so let's jump right into it now this is what i want you to understand when i draw a x and y graph okay with the horizontal x x axis representing what we call as an actual ability and on the vertical axis it is called what we call the perceived ability. Actual ability is what we are really good at or not good at, whereas the perceived ability means uh, what we think or anyone think or anybody think how good they are, which might or might not be true. So if you could divide this into half, your actual ability is very high, right? You're actually very expert in, 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 in certain things, but for some reason you don't think you are good enough, right? It is what we call as an imposter syndrome. You are actually very good at something, but you don't think you are good enough. Now, what Dunning-Kruger effect means is the opposite of imposter syndrome. Uh, people who perceive themselves highly capable, highly expert in an area, but actually their, 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 their actual ability, ability doesn't match up. They are really not that good, but they think they are good. And they are very disillusioned corporate uh, environment there's a lot of people actually having what we call a dunning kruger effect people who are the smart elect who really thinks they know everything they are they are the best but really they aren't they just check up only right? and, and, and just talk 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 you know like uh, no action talk only and, but but they think they, they 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 are very good they're pretty good in what they do uh, but all they actually know from the, you know, uh, they perceive they're very good, but the actual ability as everybody around them knows it, they're actually not that good. But in the corporate, we have very less people who have imposter syndrome. And we are talking about technical people who are really good in solving problem. You know, we come from talking about engineers and all that. They are always overlooked because they don't know how to present themselves. They don't know how to write a good update report and then they don't know how to play the politics and but they are really good they are very very dependable and actually every organization or even corporate needs these kind of people but these kind of people are always being shortchanged being overlooked for promotion now comments below or click like if you you know you are you are you are really this is really resonating with you if you have this imposter syndrome so in investing let's get right to investing now, in investing, uh, it is, there is a book called Warren Buffett Invest Like a Girl. Now, this is not something I make up. This is really a title of a book, which you can see over here, right? And you can Google it as well. You see, when it come, we, we, we always say that women are very emotional and they are very bad driver. That's not my opinion, but just what, you know, those are very egoistic, uh, chauvinist um, men will say. And the fact is, women, when it comes to money investment, women actually have this calm temperament, longer term outlook. They, uh, if you can see, they are more gassy or, you know, they are more safe, right? They, they, are, they, 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 they do more research and trade less. They don't like trade, you know, and all that. They don't gamble their money away and they remain steady under pressure. Now, this opposite of what 
we what is portrayed in the movie and that's opposite of what is in the stock market where mostly are guys or males you know frantic kind of trading you know tra day trading there's an ego to say that who can make the highest return is like my my balls are bigger than your balls and all that so and you know excessive risk taking and all that men tend to be overconfident as well which makes them fall under you know what we call dunning Kruger effect now they think they know more more they do and it can even let, let them to you know when they keep on winning which is really not because of they are being good it's just because they have a lucky streak and they thought they are invincible because bear in mind that uh, when it comes to investment when people are successful or make money they think themselves is good but actually it's not right and but when things doesn't work out turn out their way and then they always say that they try to blame others factors that are beyond their control and that is why uh, what I see that it, when it comes to men over the years I see they take too much risk and they invest in a company that they probably don't understand they want to speculate women you always say that they don't know as much alright they are not as confident and they tend to be more risk averse but it sounds like a bad thing but it can work in your favor because you're going to do more research you're more careful more diligent and you're going to take this uh, you know when it comes to your money take things more seriously but the, the fact is women are well, we being stereotyped to say that women are very emotional because they're emotional creatures and all that right but um, when it comes to investing I've seen that the you know the inverse is true when it comes to investing men I would argue that I've seen men are actually more more uh, emotional when it comes to investing which is why I, I, I'm a self-aware but if you are men watching this um, you know, you, 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 you don't feel this, this, you feel this offends you, maybe you want to click on dislike, but no, 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 that's the, just click on like on that, right? Uh, but the fact is, you will be falling into this trap where you trade too much and you view investing like a game, right? You're driven by ego, overconfident, maybe your hormone has to do with it, you're not testosterone. And, and then when the things turn the other way, right? When there's a market crash and they panic and they sell at the bottom at the exact wrong time because they do not have a long-term view and when it comes to investing men really have when, um, have this tendency to not be able to control their emotion that much uh, like I say women tend to become a patient with a more long-term outlook now if you want to really understand what the, the, the word patient means just imagine right just imagine for a woman to actually carry for those who, of you who are mother you know you have, you have to carry the baby for nine months and that nine months is getting excruciating, increasingly excruciating day after day, especially on the final weeks or month. So that is really a test of patience when you carry something for nine months and it's painful, it's inconvenient. That I think really teach you, teach you the meaning, teach us the meaning of patience, which as a man, you know, we probably cannot understand. So the other thing that I want to get a very good uh, you know example is if you watch the movies like you know Avengers you can know that one of character the god of thunder is Thor now he, he used at the end of the Avengers series he, he, he has toned down a bit on his ego and all that but if you watch the Thor movie which is the first Thor movie you can see that he's this old muscle guy and he's invincible and he's this ego he's overconfident and even in the Avengers Endgame you can see that when he travel back in time and he actually you know, uh, uh, travel in time. He saw his, uh, his his dead mother, and he still have that kind of ego, right? Because he always want to have that feeling to prove, to prove maybe to himself and to everyone that he is still worthy, right? Still worthy, which is why he say, "I'm still worthy when I can actually call the X, right? The 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 the, the X." So that being said, there's no really there is uh there is uh no no rocket science to it. Uh, women will be more prone to what we call imposter syndrome uh, men will always be uh, prone to this uh, Dunning-Kruger effect even I'm actually vulnerable to that so once you are aware so you try when you try you you, you, you accidentally fall into this kind of mental bias so I try pull myself back and not be overconfident and having a spouse right a, 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 your other half actually helps balance things out when it comes to making financial decision or investment decision uh, when it comes to like, family and whatnot if you are married but the thing is uh, 
these are uh, imposter syndrome also also, also actually um, kill kill I mean don't let this get into you it might seems like a good thing but not because imposter syndrome uh, normally there are a few types of people that actually have it what we call as a perfectionist the, the person who who set extremely high expectation of themselves and even if they meet they, they get like 99 marks to meet 99% of their goals or 90% they are still going to to feel like a failure if they don't get like hundred percent, and I used to be like that because uh, in my in my in my schooling years, for example, we are talking about subject, hard subjects like additional math, right, which is really no work in the part. But I, I I if I don't get like ninety or hundred marks, I feel like I'm a failure, even if I got like eighty five. You see, right? Any small mistake when you are a perfectionist under this imposter syndrome. You're going to question your your competence. Now, that's the bad thing, right? And also, when what we call people like expert or technical expert in a lot of professional technical job, and a lot of people thought that they need in investing, they need to have the complete set of information. They need to know everything there is to know before making an informed decision. Now, there is no way you, we or you or me can know everything. We just have to make a decision and not procrastinate or fall into this what we call as over analysis paralysis in order for us to make a decision in, in especially in investing because things change so fast it's impossible for any one person or any one organization to know all there is because what is true today one over one night donald trump just you know as you know just say that a uh, 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 tweet something that actually spark emotional, you know, it, it, it spark something emotional to say, well, tariff or trade war, and then the whole entire market will react into it, to react into it. And these are the things that, you know, even if you consider yourself an expert, you will not be able to escape this kind of, you know, temporary loss in your investment. So here's the thing. The third, the third kind of people will be what we call a natural genius. If you have been through your entire life, if you feel you are a smart guy, that, that, takes very little effort to actually do or understand something and if you encounter something that requires a lot of effort you might question yourself to say that I suddenly become very stupid and you know that that, that is also what we call as an imposter syndrome and but uh, matter of fact it might not it might be that something is really so hard like a rocket science right it has nothing to do with you so do not take that personally and this is something that I also are vulnerable of, you know, uh, what we call a one man show. Uh, you know that a lot of uh, people who are trained, uh, who are trained from from technical background, always think that they can do everything themselves. But over the years go by, whether you are in a work or in a business, you know that you cannot be expert in everything. There are certain times when you can need to outsource, ask for help too. So, you know, important symptom is not when we ask for help. I think it is not. Uh, 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 a sign of weakness for example if you like for if you or some of my clients come to me initially come to me and they say they need some advice on structuring their finances retirement all that it's not because they are stupid they are smart it's just that this is not their feel right so they are they, they have the humility enough to actually ask for help rather than you know try to do all things themselves which is why they come to me people that come to me not because they have financial trouble they probably can give it the time they can actually do their own financial planning or financial advisory but the thing is they don't have the time and they are not the expert in that field they can afford to pay some money and actually you know get some second opinion and that is why nobody is an island nobody can know everything there is and um, the final part that really kill people when it come to imposter syndrome is that People who call them, who think that they are super superman or superwoman, are not literally, but people like, for example, they they they, they, they want to they, they tend work harder around to prove they are not important. For example, they need to succeed in all aspects of life. You have to be like high flyer in your work, high, high flyer in your parent as as a parent, high flyer as a husband and wife. And you might feel stressed out because you try to be the best in everything. The truth is you can only be good at one thing if you are really, I mean, from what I see, if you are really very focused on your career, chances are you might not be able to spend that much time with your family. And that is the truth. Now, you have to so-called compromise a bit if uh, up until a point, which is why a lot of people say financial or retirement planning is that they have reached a point where they have reached a peak. 
right? And they say enough is enough. I've worked like for 70 hours a week for the past 10 years. I think I have enough. So now I want to spend more time with my family, call my own jobs and all that. So, but people who have, you cannot escape imposter syndrome. They try to do everything. They try to be perfect in everything. High flyer in work and also be the best in the family. I mean, that is good. I mean, I applaud you for that. But the thing is, it leads to a lot of things, problem like burnout, exhaustion, right? So in life, there's only 12, 24 hours in a day. And furthermore, there's only 16 hours after you minus off a sleep. And then for a lot of people living in urban area, you have to factor in, you know, you actually travel to work, the commute time and all that all the lunch time all the actually that's not much time left so you really have to plan your time properly and to say that one thing uh, must compromise not to say sacrifice but must compromise so that the other you can do way way better that being said i'm uh, cf Liu. i hope this sharing uh will, will be useful i hope this has give you you know a lot to like you know sometimes about money investment financial planning it's not really only about the facts and figures it's also about mental psychology and all that that's what i aim uh to actually uh make you self aware about so if you like this click on like comments below if you have click on the notification bell if you already you haven't already uh subscribed uh and subscribe as well so that you get notified when i publish uh lessons like that um of course i mean click on uh click on watch the next video which is very useful and uh if you if you if you like this i mean share with your friends and all that i'll see you in the next lesson this is a cf Liu for cf Liu channel